The research was undertaken by one of the six-man scientific party sent out to go and explore the area around Cape Adair and Ridley Beach. George Murray Levick was a surgeon, but he was also given the role of being zoologist. His role was to undertake all zoological studies at the area in which they were encamped for a year. And in this case, most of the animals that they saw were Adelie penguins. Cape Adair is the largest of all the Adelie penguin breeding colonies. And he was utterly enthralled by the massive city which arose around him. Levick was studying the day-to-day -day activities at the colony. Some of the things that he noticed were those that he expected in terms of what he considered to be normal sexual behaviours. Some of the things that he noticed profoundly shocked him. The behaviours included a wide range of things that even today are perhaps unusual and difficult to interpret, but they included pseudonecrophilia, sexual coercion, and physical and sexual abuse of birds within the colony. The studies on the Adelie penguin were written up in two notebooks, one of which we have on display here. It's a very good example of science coming up against the social mores of the time and the difficulty for the museum in terms of publishing at that point was that it was very difficult to interpret or even begin to talk about some of the unusual sexual behaviours that had been noticed by Levick. Levick's paper was decades ahead of its time. All of the behaviours that he noticed are true and can be interpreted with a modern understanding of behaviour. Now we know that at least some of those behaviours are undertaken by the older, more mature males who, when coming back to the colony, before they're pairing up with their, their females, they are undertaking the opportunities afforded to them in terms of trying to mate and pass their genes on. It's very fitting that nearly 100 years after he first submitted the paper, we have now finally been able to make it available to the scientific community. And all researchers can revisit and reinterpret many of the things that he observed at Cape Adair.